Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Nurmik, and we're back with more Shenmue 2. Um, I wasn't planning on recording two episodes of this tonight. However, the game physically isn't letting me save, so I need to progress the save, so... You know, in order to keep the episodes short, I gotta kinda split the episode. No, oh, yep, see, this is what I'm talking about. Only time I've ever been locked out of saving in this, uh, in this game, I think. Which is, uh, mighty fine shame. Then again, there were probably times where I was and I just, uh, I didn't notice. But let's, uh, let's now ourselves some sticks. We're currently, uh, currently just collecting them to keep the fire going. And hey, there's something up here, but I, it doesn't look as nice as down here. Got a nice little lake going and there's a, a lot of branches. What could go wrong? Um, we might we might finish the game today, maybe. I'm not sure if this is gonna go up after the. Uh, might go up directly after the next one, but it, if if it's the finale, I'll probably uh, probably save it a few days before it goes up. Yeah, those uh those big bundles of twigs always seem to uh, like to work out, and for some reason on this disc, um, Rio really doesn't like the idea of running. Which sucks, because just, yeah, it, it's kind of annoying that I have to walk there and forth and my right trigger only does, you know, zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, right, is this all or do we need to, you know, like, what am I, you know, this, you're, you're the one making the most juice of the fire. And then fetch some. You, 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 I don't understand. Um, the reason we're making this fire is because our clothes are wet and they need to dry off in the fire. Just just run around in the cave. You know, like, the fire will help, but surely running around and getting, you know, the twigs is going to be a little bit helpful. I don't know, may, maybe maybe I'm just old and I, I can't understand. Or, you know, may, maybe Shenhua just doesn't want to do anything. You know, she just sat there and was like, do you understand? You work for me now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I, th I thought it'd be more entertaining to go up for twigs anyway, so. I mean, if the roles were reversed and Rio just stared at a campfire for the first two minutes of this video, I I reckon people would have probably clicked off. So, but, 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 you know. Anyway. <sighs> oh, finally. Thank you. Oh. Okay. It's so warm. Yeah. No. Hmm. Talk to me. Okay. A uh, wife. <laughs> General How question. You spend your time in the village. I plant vegetables in the fields and feed the goats. Do you go to school? We don't have one in the village. Anything I need to know I learned from my father in the villages. How old are you? Sixteen. Two years younger than me. Do you go to school? I used to. Is school fun? Yeah, I had friends in school. We used to have a lot of fun. It would have been better if we didn't have exams. Cool. Sounds like fun. What were your friends like? <gasps> oh, who do we speak about? We've got to go Tom. There was Tom. Tom? He's from the States. He's a real funny guy. Did he go to school too? No. He sold hot dogs in town. Hot dogs? It's a foreign food. He also loved to dance. He was always singing. He sounds like a fun person. Oh, you yeah. have no idea. <laughs> Where is he now? He went back home to the States. I think he's doing fine. Oh. What other friends did you have? Uh, we had... We had Goro. We had Goro. I remember... Oh, yeah. There was Goro. Goro? Yeah. I met him at the harbor. When I first met him, he was bullying and taking money from people. What do you mean by bullying? He was threatening people to get money. He sounds like a bad person. Inside, he's a nice guy. He doesn't do those things anymore. He's eager to please. In what ways? He changes his attitude towards certain things real quickly. 
He started calling me bro out of nowhere. What a funny person. Goro. He found a job for me at the harbor. A job carrying crates. Ah, uh, there's a job like that in the village. This person owns many cows and... No, I carried them using a machine. Machine? Oh, he's experienced a lot of things. What other friends did you have? Uh, do we do that? Oh, we'll go Guizang. We'll leave Nozomi for last. Who is that? We met each other because of a particular incident. He's a stubborn guy and very proud. He respected his father with all his heart. Where is he now? He got hurt when he was trying to save me in Japan. He got hurt because of me. I don't think he has any regrets. Hmm. Who would regret risking their life for a friend in danger? My father says that's what a Chinese loyal friend is supposed to do. A loyal friend. His skills in Chinese martial arts are really something. If I ever get the chance, I'd like to spar with him again. Shem Yu Fu? Perhaps? Yeah. What other friends did you have? <laughs> no one. Nozomi didn't exist. There was nah, Nozomi. we'll go through all of them. Nozomi? Who is that? I have a picture. <gasps> okay, I didn't transfer my save, but I'm glad that this is brought across at least. Are all <gasps> Japanese women so beautiful? And they brought her theme back, my heart, man. I'm not sure. She looks so gentle. I gave her so much trouble. Did something happen? She was kidnapped by a bunch of rough men back home. And what happened? I saved her. That was good. But she experienced such fear. Where is she now? In Canada. Canada? A country far away. Do you wish to see her? I have things to get done. I have to go through that first. Really? Hmm. I do hope we see all the people we met in Shemu one at some point. I am gonna quit though because we have story progress to make. Yes. That that was nice to talk with about the things we did get to speak about though. Ooh. Wait. It'll be a fine day tomorrow. I know because the wind shifted. You can tell just because of that. During this season, when the west wind blows, it'll be a fine day. Really? It's late now. Go ahead and get some sleep. I'll watch the fire. Thank you. Did you learn that from your father too? No, I learned this in Hong Kong, but I mostly learned from watching. Breathe in the power from the earth and collect it in the center of the abdomen. 
there is much power in the trees, water, stones, and everything. Power in everything? Yes. I always gain power from the forest. From the forest? What was that? Wolves. Wolves? Are they nearby? Yes, there are many wolves. The name Lam Tui Shen means Wolf's Mountain. I heard that wolves are nocturnal. Yes, sometimes groups of them attack people at night. People? Aren't you scared? We'll be fine if we have the fire burning. They would never come near a fire. Oh, that's why we built a fire at the entrance. We better keep the fire going then. I'll watch the fire now. You should rest a little, Gil. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Well, we'll be finally getting out of this cave. I recognize that sound anywhere. Shenfa. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? No. What was that song? It's an old song of the village. Of Bailey Village? Yes. There are many old songs in the village. What was the meaning of that song? It's a song about the landscape of Guilin. The mountains of Guilin glisten after the rain. Clear water flows into the spring which flows into the river of Ying Shui Chuen. Ying Shui Chuen? It's the river where you saved me. Ah. In the summer, there are fireflies by the riverside. So the name Ying Shui Chuen means river of fireflies. Yes. I'll watch the fire now, Shinpa. Thank you. Lovely weather. Just like you said. Let's go. It's this way. Yo, look. All the mountains here have such strange shapes. But aren't they beautiful? Yeah. They are called Shan Shen. Shan Shen? Yes, it means a mountain with a pure, beautiful shape. I see. Okay. Ooh, okay, we're heading straight into a loading zone. And what is going on here? I, I see a map, and, uh... Okay, we can't seem to run ahead, but... 
Oh, everything's like glistening after the rain. Oh, that is. It sounds awfully like uh, the track that plays the first time you visit the harbour in uh, Shemmy 1. Take a minute so to appreciate it, then we'll, uh, we'll fast travel on, I think. Yeah, I was not anticipating, uh, you know, having two Shemmy 2 episodes out today, but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, such is the game. Uh, could I theoretically save here? Right, I'll, uh, I'll note that. Because I don't think... Uh, it's very unlikely that we'll uh, get to finish up this disc today, but I have a feeling next time we should uh, we'll probably be seeing ourselves either arrive at the house or um, finish it, or it depends how long I want to make the episode. Anyway, yeah, it uh, does take a while. I just want to appreciate the music for a second, though. Like, the music for this has been different, but still pretty good, I want to say. Yeah, again, there's, we're leaving a map behind us. Um, so I wonder if... Because I have a little bit of a... Uh, a memory with this disc. And there's a point where you have to go down multiple routes and then find your way uh, the rest of the way. Oh, <laughs> I think this is uh, the exact same place. Yeah. Ah. Some of those signs is broken off. Uh, makes you think. Oh, oh. But, so because we fast traveled, it um, it no longer counts. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, again, I have I have a series to record, so we really need to uh, make a move on. If I could sprint through these areas and appreciate them at full speed, that'd be fine. But. It's the fact that we're forced to walk, which is really killing it. We can't get past here. It's probably because of the rain last night. Just go around it. Path we can take? I don't know. Wait, I recall my father mentioning another path. Another path? There was a path that broke off on our way here. Oh, it's that one. Perhaps that path could be... Yeah, let's go see. Yeah. Okay, can I run straight there? Oh, <laughs> I, I would hope. Again, this is this is a good disc, but... I, I forgot how, uh... Like, how, uh... You can only, like, really walk for vast majorities of it. And it is cool to see Rio with his back again, though. Um, yeah, it, it feels kind of nostalgic, because... I mean... Realistically, he only has it for the first few minutes of disc one. So seeing him have it again is a bit... It's different, but cool. He might be. Although I'm not too sure. In any case, we don't have a choice. Let's go, Shenhua. These are the people which scaled a cliff last episode, right? Like, am I missing something? It was the one slide particularly difficult to climb. It, it looks like it could be climbed over, but I don't know. Anyway, oh, we can actually run through the rest of the landscape now. Oof. And I think uh, next area will probably listen to what they have to say and wrap it on up. That is, uh, hoping that we don't get the same outcome we did last time, where, uh, you know, it likes to drag on for uh, a good while. Yeah, I think this is the right way. Uh, although, we are heading in the opposite direction to where we were originally. If it, if it curves around, that is uh, useful. Yeah, it's a question of we called like. Um, I'm going to say it's this way. Just because this, uh, yeah, I seem to be paying attention to what direction you kind of need to head. Um, I would, I would hope anyway. Oh, oh, it's a little arch. Yeah, it's, it's definitely feeling like the right place. Um, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think there's a little trick here. Yep, the path does this thing where it like doubles back on itself. See, I, I saw that, and I, I remember like very faintly in the back of my head that that caught me out when I was playing on Dreamcast. Like, they want you to go to the end of there, then turn around and see, oh, this is the right way. Yeah, here we are. Here, here's the waterfall. Uh, looks nice. 
Um. Oh, oh, it turns out. Yes. Thank, thank you for the observation. She, she's Ren 2.0. Um, okay. Yeah, it seems like I actually was... <laughs> so, I assume on the Dreamcast they thought, Ah, I see the path there, I'm not gonna get caught out and have to double back. And then, I assume I remember th the feeling of that and not what was actually at the end. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, yeah, we are on a little bit of a set timer to, uh, reach our destination, because otherwise it locks us out. But, yeah, this is definitely the right path. Uh... It's been, it's been going longer than the last one, so I'd be surprised if it did turn out to be a dead end. <laughs> we just leave Shenhua behind. A river. No. I think we can get across there. Yeah. Watch out for the stones with moss. You might slip. But the river is shallow here. No. The river flow can be more powerful than it seems. If you slip, you could sprain your ankle. Alright, I'll be careful. I'll go first. Okay, I guess we're gonna hear more of that new quick time event sound. Alright, um, is it all gonna be A's or directionals? No, this way. Right, I just hope we can save after this. Ooh! Okay, they didn't seem to change the noise for, um, freeze QCEs. Okay. Hopefully they don't have too long of a conversation now. I knew village. No, we were right about taking this path. Yeah. We can move on. Yeah. Oh, bigger trees now. Good. Let's go. Okay, and I think with that we're going to wrap up this episode. So if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a thumbs up, possibly subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a comment down below. I'm sorry these last two episodes really haven't been that story heavy, but hopefully we can change that uh, uh, probably next episode, uh, if not the one after. But yeah, for now, I'm uh, going to leave you there. It has been nice running through Gwewin, but I have a few gripes with it, I will admit. But with that said, I'm going to leave it here. And with all that said, and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Naramek and Peace, and...